Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture. Um, actually, a few bits of scripture. Um, um, one of them is from Matthew chapter 5, um, verses 10 to 12. Um, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so he persecuted the prophets who were before you. And the second bit of scripture is from First Peter uh, chapter 4, verses 12-14. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, um, because the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. Why am I bringing up these scriptures? Because I am um, want to remind people that... Um, That persecution comes with, uh, with the territory of uh, being a Christian. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, if you're bearing in the name of Christ, <clears throat> you're going to get um, you're you're going to get persecuted, and, and I mean, people people um, the United States won't won't torture you or. Um, Put you to death yet, <laughs> but um, they they will um, it, I mean, I mean they will say all kinds of evil things against you, and they they will um, they they could um, fire you for being a Christian. I mean, if you have a job. I mean, you could you could be discriminated against. However, that should not be an um, excuse for um, throwing a persecution pity party. It's like I can't stand persecution pity parties. It's like. Um, like, woe is me, I'm being persecuted. Won't somebody come and comfort me? It's like, <clears throat> dude, you got the larger God on your side. What more What more do you want? I mean, you, you want to draw attention to yourself that um, you're being persecuted and um, you want other Christians to feel sorry for you? Of course they're going to... Of course, they're going to um, pray for you and be be on your side, but that's no excuse to d just um, <clears throat> draw all that attention upon yourself, like like you're the only um, person in the world who's being persecuted. I mean, heck, there are people in um, third world countries who are suffering much worse than. Um, than people in first world countries. I mean, I mean, God cares about your um, your suffering. So why not bring it to Him? And and as the scriptures um, that I read indicate, you should rejoice in your um, sufferings. For, I mean. Of course, the human na nature is that that um, we don't want to rejoice in ourselves. We just want to feel. We just want to uh, moan, groan. Just feel bad about ourselves and just. Like, okay, I understand that. I mean, but. Um, I mean, but um, that's not what the uh, this 
the disciples did when they were um, persecuted. I mean, when they were um, beaten by the uh, Sanhedrin, they were told told not to pr preach anymore in Jesus' name. <laughs> I mean, they rejoiced because they they counted themselves worthy of suffering sh sh shame for um, Christ. I mean, I mean, Hebrews sa says that um, G G Jesus for the um, joy that was set before him um, endured the cross, despised its sh shame, and um, sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. I mean, even and even he w was um, well. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to belittle his um, sufferings and say that he enjoyed it, <laughs> but um, but he. I mean, but he despised the um, shame of the cross. I mean, I mean, it was, it wasn't. Um, well, cr people who were um, put on a, cro a cross um, were were considered accursed of God, and um, and as it <coughs> says in Deuteronomy that whoever is hanged. On a tree is the curse of God, and Jesus took upon himself the uh, cur curse that um, God has put put upon us, and, and like like um, Rebecca um, said said to her son Jacob um, when when um, he, he was told to disguise himself as uh, as his brother Esau to get the blessing from from his father Jacob, let your curse be upon me, just to do what I say. And I mean, she was willing to take take the uh, cur curse that that um, would have fallen upon her son um, Jacob to um, Let him be the one that would be blessed by his father Isaac. And um, I know I'm getting a little off track here, but I'm, but I'm just trying to um, say that um, we we shouldn't um, we shouldn't look down upon persecution because um, every every, every person who calls himself a Christian is going to. Uh, Go through it in some form or another. I mean, I mean, I mean, the world is very antagonistic against uh, against Christians. I mean, I mean, you don't get necessarily get the. Um, most flattering image of, uh, of um, ourselves and as Christians. I mean, some. I mean, some of us who call ourselves Christians go go out of our way to um, basically act like they're not Christians. It's like, like um, you just. They're just not lo loving. They're just judgmental. They're, uh, they're, I mean, I mean, the religious pe pe people were the ones who, uh, who put Jesus on a cross. Well, they, they had the Romans do do, do the dirty job because. And accepted a responsibility, and then, then later, when um, the apostles were pre preaching that you killed Jesus, and he was like, "No, we didn't kill Jesus. You're trying to put this man's blood upon us." I mean, yeah. So don't, I mean, don't fear persecution. It's it's going to happen, and. Just, ju just be prepared to, to rejoice, 
and because uh, if that's the worst you're going to, you're going to suffer uh, here on earth then then it's um, nothing compared to the glory that's going to come later on when you're um, with God in heaven you know, and he <clears throat> looks on looks on your life and he, and he says well done good and faithful servant anyway that's pretty much all I have to share with you this morning so have a good day and God bless you